in plants, unlike in human beings, uh, we can replicate the genotype. We can take an individual plant and effectively have clones of that plant and grow it in different environments. And by doing that, I'll be able to show you today to what extent the environment can have an extremely large impact on the influence of a, of a phenotype or variations in a characteristic, say height of the plant or something like that. And there's different values of that height. We refer to those as phenotypes. So in plant breeding, one of the things you learn when you uh, go to school to study plant breeding is you learn this sort of equation. Phenotype equals genotype plus environment plus genotype by environment interaction. And then there's another little piece over here called residual, the stuff that doesn't fit into that model. And what, what's really going on is in the field of plant breeding and genetics um, is we're, what we try to do is decompose this variability in the phenotype. So we have a lot of different variation. If I walked out into my field nursery over here on main campus and I walk through the field, I'll see tremendous amounts of variability. And what, how is it that that variability arises? And that variability arises, of course, generally speaking, GE, GE, and some interactions of those. But if you try to break down some of these things like the G component and ask where does the diversity arise from? What's the generative forces of variability? And that includes things like mutation and recombination. Mutation generates new variants in a genome, and recombination can shuffle the genome. And also independent assortment can reassemble that in, different, in the population in different ways. Um, and then th that, gen that generated variation uh, expresses itself through different sort of levels of, you know, getting sort of technical uh, aspects of how um, genetics is, is characterized, described, and understood. Um, but you can see there's a multiple different sources of, that underlie that variation in phenotypic uh, and phenotype. And today I'm just going to focus on genotype and environment and leave the black box or the black hole of genotype by environment for a whole other, uh, some other time. 